Uh, hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Let's give it a few minutes, two, one or two more minutes for more people to join as we're seeing still more participants are joining. Thank you for your patience. We'll start in two minutes. And as we are waiting, I would like to invite you to explore our web page for the Correct University Startup Generator Challenge. Uh, my colleague will be sharing the link very soon. So here's the official web page in the chat box. Thank you, Alina. For those who are already here, um, if you like, please take a look of the official web page as we wait for more students to join us. All right, um, I think we can start now. Um, so welcome, welcome to join the Correct University Startup Generator 2023 information session. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. And thank you for taking time to join this session. I know that for some students, they're still on holiday, and uh, for example, I'm from China, and I know that we're still on the Chinese New Year holiday. So thank you for your commitment to the competition and to join the info session, information session. Uh, my name is Suki, your coordinator for the challenge. And as we start, I would like to uh, quickly a brief view the agenda of today. We'll start with the introduction of the competition. And many people ask about team formation. There, there has been a lot of questions about how we're going to form the team and everything. So we'll talk about this today as well. And the third item will be we'll be talking about the categories, the three guiding questions. Uh, following that, we will talk about the timelines and tasks what exactly you will be doing uh, for this challenge during the competition. And uh, followed by more information regarding the challenge, uh, regarding the teamwork and everything. And finally, we will have a live Q&A session. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to write them down in the chat box or raise your hand to ask. And in fact, I hope that this session could be more interactive. So if you have qu any questions as I, uh, as we are going through the, the challenge, the presentation, please raise your hands or uh, write in the chat box. I saw someone raising hand already, yeah? Would you like to go ahead, tie up? Any uh, questions? Uh, 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 um, you're muted. Okay, I I think maybe it's a mistake. All right, let's move on. Uh, sorry, Tayab, I can't hear you properly. Maybe you can type. Yeah, maybe you can type in the chat box. And uh, let me let me start the introduction. 
perhaps some of your questions will be addressed in the following session. Right, so the challenge is organized by Asian Development Bank, which is an international organization focused on banking by providing loans, technical assistance, grants, and equity investment to promote social and economic development uh, for Asia and the Pacific. Under the Asian Development Bank is the, send the correct program. Uh, we, we know that the challenge is called Correct University Startup Generator. So Correct stands for Central Asia Regional Economic, Economic Cooperation Program, which is a partnership of 10 countries and development partners work together to promote development. And under this Correct program, uh, we are implementing a Correct Digital Strategy 2030. Uh, within the within this strategy is the university startup generator that we're talking about today and i believe most of you have already registered and this is a competitive innovation challenge for university students from the correct region uh, in order to develop practical entrepreneur and soft skills by tackling real world problems the event is sponsored by Asian Development Bank and the Republic of Korea E-Asia and Knowledge Partnership Fund. Um, as you know, the, we are targeting university students from the current countries. More of this information can be found on our web page. So um, without further ado, I will just continue with this most, uh, I believe, most interesting part, the award and benefits. What will you learn and what will you gain for participating this challenge? So of course, we have a lot of cash prize. The first one is 5,000. Uh, we have also a special category prize to award those teams that are most active, they are that are more diverse with multinational participants and um, with more gender balance and cultural diverse and everything. So, uh, and apart from the cash prize, um, as a student to participate in this challenge, you would also be able to gain entrepreneurship skills, uh, from from developing your innovative solutions and it's also a very good opportunities to network to connect with investors with your fellow students with mentors with um, other entrepreneurs in the in the sector and in the region you would also receive training and mentorship throughout the challenge. Uh, of course, international collaboration as this is a international competition and we want to encourage students to interact with students from other country, from a different background to also um, get to know each other, to have international experience. So how can we, uh, how can you participate in the challenge? Um, so my colleague have earlier sent the challenge official page on the chat box. Uh, if you go to the chat box, if you go to the web page, uh, you will see this, this page that I have here and we have different tabs, challenge details, applications, timelines, and frequently asked questions. Under the FAQ section, you can see the first question uh, with the answer where you can download the guideline for how to participate. It will guide you through the entire process. And the competition has the following five steps. First, of course, you want to create an account and then you want to form a team. So I want to uh, talk a bit more about forming a team, we will accommodate three to four members in a team. There are many questions about team formation, uh, so we'll talk more about this in the next section. And of course, you want to uh, create a team name, your profile, and uh, an image where you can upload to your team profile, an introduction of your team, 
and um, your skill sets and everything. Next is to select one category. As you know, we have three different categories, health tech, mobility tech, and um, the clean tech. So select one of the category that you want to choose and answer the guiding questions. Once you are there, uh, we can move on to timeline and step-by-step -step task. Throughout the competition, we will send you different tasks uh, every week. And each and every task will go through to uh, develop your innovative solutions for the guiding question. And at the end, as soon as you complete everything, if your if your work stand out, you will then be able to perhaps win the prize to realize your ideas. Can you hear me properly now? I saw in the textbook that my voice is not very clear. Am I audible now? Okay, perfect. Thank you, Yu Song. Um, thank you very much. So let's move on. The second part, team formation. Uh, this is also a screenshot actually from the website from frequently asked question tab. So if you can go to there, you will find uh, many more answers to team formation questions. The most typical one is, can I join if I don't have a team yet? So the answer is yes, you can create a team and please do that. If you don't create a team or you don't join a team, we will not be able to see your profile in, the, in our system. Uh, that means perhaps you only registered to the, to the overall web page. You have an account, but you are not participate in this particular challenge. So to participate, please create a team or join, your, join a team. And when you don't have a team, you can create a team, use your full name, your, your real name. Um, more questions you can find there, but the next slide is what I believe the most important one about team formation. So before the 1st of February, that's uh, 1st of February is the day we want to close the registration. Before that, uh, you're welcome to reach out to form a team or to join other team and try to make sure you are in a team of three or four people by the end of 1st of February. And it's okay if you don't have a team by then, because on the 2nd of February, we will then uh, close the system and our admin team will allocate you to a team if uh, you are an individual or if your team has only two people. Uh, we will then merge these teams to make new teams of three or four people. And if your team has already four people, you can see on the system that uh, it's already a complete team. If your team has three people, uh, normally we won't touch this kind of team because we consider three person team, it's also a complete team, right? Uh, so the only one that will be merged or uh, changed is those teams that has only one or two person. Uh, just an important note again, if you're one person and you haven't created a team or joined a team, please do that before the 1st of February so we can see you on our system. And uh, so the last thing, the last and most important thing is that those teams that will be merged, their team profile will be deleted because we have to delete the old teams to create a new team. So please, please save your profile offline uh, before the 1st of February. If you, need, if you still need those information, please do save them. Right, and here is where you can find the incomplete teams if you want to explore teams to join. Uh, on, the web, on the website, go to the Teams tab and you will see all the incomplete teams here. 
So for example, I think I did the screenshot yesterday or two days ago, and these are the several teams with a uh, few slots open. These are just an example. And oh yeah, so here you can see the profile image. I would like to encourage you to create um, your own profile image to identify your team because it also represents your team. It could be a logo, it could be your uh, something that is relevant to your topic, or perhaps just your team photos, you know, whatever, whatever you would like to make it stand out. Okay, now moving on to the categories. We have three different categories for this competition, and each category has a guiding question. You will be able to see these guiding questions on the first page of the website. So uh, I will not explain too much about this. Uh, the, the information is already online. Um, we received also some questions about categories, uh, for example, if I can choose more than one category, the answer is no, you can only choose one category and you can only answer the given questions. So here are the three given questions related to the three categories. So uh, please have your solutions very, very relevant to the given questions. And you would, uh, each team will only come up with one solution, uh, one presentation to answer this question. And now moving on to timeline and task. This uh, also, I believe is a very important part. We are already about to enter step three, the startup ideas generator. And we start on the first, on the 2nd of February until until 15th of March and on the 29th of March is our demo day where uh, every team, uh, the select teams will be presenting their solutions. And in this challenge, we will have seven weeks of work uh, as we prepare and brainstorm and do all the work toward achieving an innovative ideas. And I wanted to give you a more detailed timeline and tasks. So uh, here is a more detailed timeline. I put them in calendar. As you can see, we have uh, about two tasks per week. So every week on Monday and Wednesday, we will be releasing new tasks and uh, you will be working either individually or with the team to complete the task. So as you can see, some of he, some of this has indicated individual task or group task. And um, after the so first week, it's more about information connect, co collection and analysis. After that, um, you will be assigned to do an assessment and then a brainstorming session with your team to come to come out with the um, ideas that everyone agree. And then do some more analysis to, to uh, form a better solution. So yeah, uh, this is a very brief idea. The task would be sent to you uh, every week, and you will be able to see the task details with deliverable required to submit on the system. So everything will be on the system and we will send you a message or emails to notify you that new task has been released. And this is the calendar of March. On the, so this is gonna be the fifth week. Yeah, so on the fifth week, we will have two workshop and a mentorship session where you can learn more and you can also talk to the mentors uh, to receive feedbacks and ask questions and everything. And week six is almost almost the final week to finalize your, your ideas to prepare a better business plan 
and the week seven is for preparation of the pitching on the week eight. Week eight is the final pitching day. So this is uh, the overall timeline and task that we will have during the competition. Um, here, I also want to give you an example of some tasks. For example, week one task, um, you don't have to take any notes now because we will be sending, sending this task uh, by email and on the system. So you will be able to see the information there. But basically, on each and every task, we will tell you what is the objective of this task and what exactly you are expected to do. Uh, for the task and what you should be submitting. For example, for the first task, you will be submitting 10 assumptions for the questions of your selection. And you will be submitting it by this particular day to the system. So here is an example of task. And um, just one second, let me, let me check the chat box i'm seeing some okay can you share these dates with us yes uh we we will be sending this information uh by email and um, also this will be available on the web page um in fact i can also send this presentation by email to all those that have registered um, yep, so this is a very brief eligible criteria. You can find it from the web page. So I would not uh, spend time on it. Just very quickly, I want to talk about selection criteria. We would have five criteria to select the final winners innovativeness, technology usage, market presentation, and your team coordination. And these details, you can also see if on the web page on FAQ page. So for this details, uh, you can find it on our web page. Thank you, Alina. And very quickly, I want to just take you through the web page again. What are the informations that are available on the web page? We have timeline, all the timelines are. Uh, that are available here and the things that you need to download would also be available here. We have FAQs and we are also uh, updating the FAQs. So some students ask questions via message, via a WhatsApp group or um, email. We also add them to here. We have news and announcement page where you will see our previous workshop and information sessions. Uh, if you haven't already uh, watched the recording or you didn't attend the session, please please uh, go ahead and watch the recording. It will help you to prepare for the challenge. So this uh, this was workshop one, and this is workshop two, building a winning startup team. It will be very, very helpful for the competition. And yeah, again, this is the Teams page. I would encourage you to explore the Teams page to also get to know other students, get to know other teams, what people are doing. And here uh, is the group chat for most of the students. If you are, if you can, please join WhatsApp group. And for mainland China, because some of you cannot access WhatsApp, so uh, we also created WeChat group. And um, please scan to join. My colleague also add the WhatsApp group link to the chat box. So screenshot one thing of this uh, before we move on. Right, and this is about the end of my presentation and I'm ready to take in questions. As I can see already, lots of students are very actively <laughs> wanting to ask questions. So yeah, I am gonna stop sharing my screen and I'll be ready to take in some questions 
Um, and oh yeah, Irakli, please, if uh, there's anything to add. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Shukish. Thank you, and uh, I'm glad that we have so many participants in our competition. And it's it's um, generally it's not a competition; it's a tool for all of you to develop your um, competitiveness. And I have several slides. Um, I will share it to you and explain more in uh, deep why we are doing it for you and why it's important for you for the for your future success for your future growth. Just a minute. Uh, thank you, Irakli. Yeah, can you can you see my slide? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the main thing is that uh, fortunately in our, um, our regions, uh, the more lectures, the lectures are more in a in theoretical type, and then you are teaching entrepreneurship. It's it's like um, teach the swimming. You can't teach, uh, and you can't become entrepreneur, uh, entrepreneur uh, by only uh, reading the books and looking to the YouTube videos. It's very important to you to develop your uh, mental abilities, particular skills, which is uh, which are you using during the creation of the startup and also during its development. To look to the skills uh, every day in your future journey by the creating of a startup, you need to make the decisions. You need to find new solutions. You need to create something which uh, improve your product. You need to communicate with your potential partners, team members. Uh, you, you should sell your product, of course. But all these uh, abilities you only could develop in practice. And it means that it's like a muscle. And this muscle should be developed. It's better than uh, uh, doing such kind of competitions and not based on your mistakes or failure or something like similar. Yeah, that's, that's why we are offering you uh, this tool, this platform and competition. And you can see that practice by doing it's one of the one of the best tools for your skills development. And finally, what what we are doing, we are using this methodology. It's called project based learning. And the project based learning methodology, it's a learning through doing. And already, yeah, the Shuki explained you the the type of tasks and how it's going through all the uh, all the stages and each of these tasks is oriented on development of your particular skills for example information analysis session uh, it's uh, again it's uh, the process uh, which you will have a lot of time in your in, in your future activities then you will start work on your startup but you already started the working on your startup but on the, on the con, in the, in the concrete di directions on the partic particular driving questions, but everything is starting with information analysis, with uh, brainstorming, with different type of brainstorming, with working in the groups, and creating the solutions. As soon uh, as as uh, much time you will do this all all all, all such kind of activities you will be better in your future life and future success. Yeah, I think Shuki already mentioned this free direction. You should create project and you should generate innovative ideas under these topics. Yeah, that's uh, we had such kind of example then people came with its own ideas. Uh, in the future, we, we might have such kind of Process, but now you you, you should con concentrate your team and yourself to solve this particular problem. Yeah, in health tech, in mo mo mobility tech, and green tech. Under this driving question, under this free driving question. 
Yeah, it's 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 shortly about the concept of uh, this competition and this uh, tool. Uh, once again, I would like to explain as uh, more uh, as uh, as uh, oftenly you are exercising your muscles like an entrepreneurial skills as successful you become in your life thank you very much and i wish you success um Chuki announced that we have now the questions and answer please ask us questions and we'll be glad to answer it thank you uh, thank you Irakli. and i think before we take in the questions let's do a good photo I would like to invite everyone who's on the meeting to have your camera on so that we can have a good photo. Uh, although we can't be physically together, uh, but I feel that we are all here with the same purpose, with a common purpose uh, for this innovation ecosystem. And so I would like to invite every one of you to turn on your camera and we take a very quick group photo as a very beautiful memory. Uh, Azus, are you there? Hi, Shuri, sure. Uh, hi, colleagues, please turn on your camera. This won't take much of your time. Really nice to see everyone. Okay. Uh, nice to see speaking. all of you. Okay, I'll be taking photo now. Taking photo in three, two, one. Smile. Okay, uh, one more time. One, two, three. Smile. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And I notice Olga Selov. Is that how you pronounce the name? You have a group with you. Is that? Thank you so much, Suki. Thank you. Right, okay. Um, so sorry, I lost connect. I just come back. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Right, so I will start by taking by answering some of the questions in the chat box. So Usad asking, can you share the date with us? Yes, uh, timeline is available. Which uh, will also be sending tasks by email and on the system. Yu Song asked if team image is necessary. Uh, yes, uh, it's a very unique identification of your team. So we would encourage you to have your team image. Um, it could be you could design you know a logo or it could be some photo that you like it could be something that is relevant to your topic for example if you choose health tech then maybe you can find a picture that you like uh, related to health tech or related to mobility or clean tech anything as long as when we see it we know that it's your team you can even do a group selfie if you like uh, we know when we see it we know that it's you Next. Said asked if there would be any physical meeting or prototyping as well as for meetup. Um, this is a very good question. So overall, the competition would be online. It will be organized online all the tasks and everything uh, can be done online. But of course, we encourage physical meetup. Uh, if you can organize physical meeting with your teammates, that would be very, very good. If all of your teammates are in the same countries or same city, it would be great to organize a face-to-face -face meeting. 
and uh, we might plan something, but it's uh, still difficult and we can't confirm uh, for anything that is uh, offline for now. But yeah, if, if the condition we might, we might uh, but uh, overall the competition, the task and the teaching day will be online. I hope that answers your question. And Ustad, uh, Ferus, you're here. Do you have any questions? Anyone has questions? Uh, Wasik, Zahid, I saw you having your hand raised. Yeah, I do have a one question. If you allow me to just speak on the mic. Yes, please. Uh, all right, so uh, what if a winning team just got a prize and uh, how are they going to like uh, for the launch the product if they have a SaaS idea, for example, because it requires like a lot of uh, maybe resources and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. Sorry, do you, you answer do you... the question? Okay, exactly. Yeah. Uh, as we mentioned, you should concentrate during this competition, not about uh, the activities, not uh, about your own idea there is a provided free direction and under this free direction you should create innovation innovative solution you are not coming into this competition with your own ideas please take it into the consideration because many of people coming with its own ideas and looking for the financing now it's the process which is helping you develop your skills develop your abilities to work together to prepare yourself for the future growth of your startup, but not for the development of your existing idea. Yeah. Thank you, Irakli. And I, I see that, oh, sorry, uh, Wasik, I hope it answers your question. Do you have any other questions? Okay, um, we'll proceed to the next question. Azad asked, is there another session at two? Uh, sorry, I don't get what you mean. Are you asking if there's another session another day or today? Azad, would you like to clarify your question? And I will now look into the next question by Haider Ali. Every team member have to give a presentation individually. Uh, no, you. every team will select only one representative to do the presentation, but everyone in the team will coordinate and work together to prepare the presentation and to prepare the person who is going to make the final presentation. Uh, Azad is asking about today. Uh, so today, 2 p.m. has already passed. We started the information session. We started the meeting at 2 p.m. today, GMT plus eight. So now it's already 2.38. Yeah, also on, uh, actually today in the WhatsApp group, many people are not very clear about time zone. I would encourage you to do some homework on how to understand this different time zone. It would be very, inter very important, very essential for international collaboration, as we know that each country is having different time zone. And when we receive meeting invite or anything that has time, it's very important to clarify what time zone it is and what is the time difference uh, it is from you. So yeah. Understanding time difference is also a very important thing for international collaboration. Do we have any other questions? Uh, if not, I would like to invite you to take take a very quick feedback survey. My colleague just sent it earlier in the chat box. And yeah, so Alina actually just sent it again. 
here is a very quick feedback survey for this event. And we want to understand how you like the challenge, how you like today's information session, if it's helpful, what, where have we been doing well, where to improve and everything. So um, please take a few minutes to fill out the survey, survey form. So I would I would give everyone um, two minutes to do the survey. And if any of you still have questions, please ask. How to have a right team member for your startup? As sometimes most team members quit. Quit to be part of it later. Or some of the team members quit. And for this question, thank you, Isa Khan, for this question. We actually had this workshop to focus on how to build a winning startup team. Uh, if you haven't already watched the recording, please do that. I hope it will be helpful. And also uh, in the rules, we mentioned that if some of the members are not contributing to the team, to the teamwork and um, you can report to admin and if they are actually not, not contributing or they're not doing any work at all, we can help you to remove them from the team. And so, yeah, if, if in the worst case that happens, please uh, report to us, let us know and we can help you to either talk to the person or if uh, already they decided that they don't want to continue, we can remove them from the team. And perhaps Irakli or Alina, do you have anything that? No, no. Okay, great. Hi everyone. So if, uh, just, sorry, one, hi, Alina. one moment. <laughs> hi, just wanted to add that we uh, regularly update our social media pages. Uh, we have um, pages on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, and you can check out the last news there. Um, so we will send you the links also. Thank you, and I wish you good luck. Thank you, Alina. Okay, Isa, this is well noted. Thank you for letting us know. And um, so, if we don't have more questions, I think we can close this meeting earlier. And uh, please take your time to fill the feedback survey. It's very important uh, for us to help us to improve. If you have, uh, I think I will still have the meeting open for another two or three minutes. If you have any questions, comments, feedback for the competition, you can also uh, let us know. I'm hoping that um, you are getting the feedback survey. Oh, you so uh, thank you for mentioning this. Uh, please ignore the attachment. It was actually a mistake. <laughs> You're not supposed to receive the attachment. And um, if you receive the email, that means you're already in the competition because uh, I export the email information from the challenge. So the, you will be able to see your team information from the web page. The official information and everything are on the web page. Thank you for mentioning this.
Thank you, Usad, for saying this. All right, so um, I think with that, uh, we can close the meeting. And thank you for a very, very effective meeting. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask uh, by message on the, web, on the website or in the group chat. Thank you very much. And please, please do fill out the feedback survey. Thank you. See you soon. And have a very, very nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.